I was at Stratford waiting for my friend Lindsay. I was just outside the train station. Some guy comes up to me. He's like, hey. And I was like, hey. And I'll be honest with you. I thought he might have been someone who watches me on YouTube. Because it does happen. And it happens more in London than anywhere else. Because obviously that's where I live. He was like, how are you? And I was like, I'm alright. You? Still not sure who this guy was. He was like, oh, I just wanted to talk to you about something. And it was then that I noticed in his hand, he had like a leaflet. And it said something about a church. And I was like, oh... I'm really sorry, I'm not religious, I'm an atheist, I'm not interested, but thank you. And he was like, oh no, no, it's nothing to do with church. I was like, right. He was like, no, it's a, it's a life coaching day. It's just hell at a church. I was like, right, well, my life is pretty good, so I don't really need a life coaching day. So again, thanks, but I'm okay. Okay, well, maybe you should just come along to the church anyway, and... We can teach you about God and stuff. And I was like, I'm really sorry. You're not understanding. I'm an atheist. I don't believe in God. Can I ask you why you don't believe in God? You don't want to have this conversation with me. He's like, no, 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 I do. Can I ask why you're an atheist? And so I told him, I'm an atheist because there is no logical reason for me to believe in a God. Either God exists or God doesn't exist. If God doesn't exist and I don't believe in God, nothing changes in my life. If I die, the same thing happens. Whether I believe in God or don't believe in God, if there is no God... That's it, the end of my life, that's it. If there is a God, two schools of thought are either he has predetermined our life for us and he has set us on this path, or he has given us free will and he has basically just put us on the earth and left us to make our own decisions. And he's like, well, I, I believe in the free will. I was like, okay, well, if he had predetermined my life, he has decided that I am an atheist. He has made that decision for me, he has set me along this path, therefore I'm fine. If I die and he punishes me for that, he's a dick. He has made me an atheist, I didn't make myself an atheist. He's like, well no, God gives free will. Like, okay, in a sense of free will, God has given me all of this proof he doesn't exist. And no proof that he does exist. He went, well the trees, I went, the trees don't prove that God exists. Trees prove lots of things, one of them isn't God. Therefore, using free will, the gift that your God has bestowed upon me, I have chosen to make an informed choice that there is no God, because there is no proof that there is a God, therefore there is no logical reason there should be a God. If I die and I go to heaven and I turn up, either two things are going to happen. Either he is going to go, you made an informed decision, you used the gift that I gave you, welcome to heaven. Therefore it doesn't matter if I believe in God or not, I'm still going to heaven. Or, I'm going to go up to heaven and God is going to go, you used the gift I gave you of free will and thought and logical decisions. You didn't believe in me. I'm punishing you to go to hell. In which case, again, God is a dick. Now, logically, God can't be a dick because he created life. He created all these things. If he does answer prayers and, you know, help people, he's not a dick. So my choices are to believe that God doesn't exist or believe that God is a dick. At that moment, Lindsay came out of the train station. I was like, my friend is here, so I need to go. So no, 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 give me a chance. I've let you speak. Please, please give me a chance to explain why God exists. That took me roughly around a minute. So I'll give you a minute to tell me. Lindsay came over. I handed him my phone and went, Lindsay, can you time him, please? And the guy just looked panicked. He was like, um, well, God, um, uh, uh, and I was like, you've got 45 seconds. Life is a glass of water and sin is poison. If you put a bit of poison in the water, you can't drink the water, and God can pour out the water and he can refill it, so for all you don't have any poison. It's like, you're not proving that God exists. He's like, no, no, no. If, if you put any poison in the water, you can't drink the water, and so the poison is like evil, and like water is life, and God is life. I was like, I'm sorry, you're out of time. You haven't proven that God exists, and I'm sorry, goodbye.